Ian, does this coat look cute with this? <laughs> you look like Cookie Monster. Okay guys, so I didn't end up shooting today because it's so rainy out and a lot of the stuff I wanted to shoot was outside. And when we're at the studio, it's just so gloomy and dark that inside lighting for filming videos and stuff isn't good either. So here I am in box H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> but we're gonna survive. So I was here, I was working on some emails and stuff and now I am going to be boxing packing so the opposite of my usual unboxings we're gonna be boxing boxing and i'm just gonna take the tiniest break from packing to show you guys what came in the let it so gift bag from last night Woo -woo! you guys i cannot wait until my vlog is just cuter cuter because this room is just not cute i will say like one of my biggest sources of shame has been like that i don't have like a blogger house like one of those perfect places that you live in that looks cool when you do all your videos and stuff just not my life yet so i can already smell this and it Smells so good. I'm like a creep. I want to like curl up in bed and take a nap with this cologne because it smells so good. It smells like a sexy man. <laughs> it smells so good. Like I actually also want to wear it myself. I'm going to put it on just so I can feel good about it. If you do need a gift for a man in your life, I'm telling you this. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm losing my mind over this. Okay, so it's Invictus by Paco Rabanne. So you already saw this beautiful clutch that I got from Brahmin and they make absolutely awesome bags as well. We have Campo Aromatherapy Oil. Cool. We actually have an oil diffuser. It's up there and I use it all the time. Oil diffusers are one of my must haves in any home. It's like a very important thing. <laughs> oh, skin laundry. Okay, cool. So this is their extra deep gel face wash and that was that machine that I did last night and then the mask that I did last night. Um, oh, Jinsoon Nail Lacquer. They were doing manis by them last night and these look like super cute, cool nail polishes. Is. Oh, true. Imagine these were vitamins that they were showing us. Um, let's see. Ooh, their little like tagline is so intense. Says your body is made up of trillions of tiny cells. Today, they awaken. Whoa, man, that's a big promise. I got goosebumps with my own voiceover. Uh, ooh, a teeth whitening wand. I could use that right now too. I think there's toast in my teeth. I don't know what this is, but it's heavy. It's a wine corkscrew on corker. Then there is a subscription to Burst. I'm excited about this. Da -da -da -da! Meet my new toothbrush. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So, oh my gosh, look at the little charger. It's so cute. This is beautiful. So it's this rose gold toothbrush and then it has obviously the brush head here. And I guess the gift card must be for additional brush heads. This is so awesome because I'm traveling and it looks like it comes with a little travel case. I'm really excited about this. You know you're an adult when you're really excited about a toothbrush set. So Megalife Fernandez asked if I, 22, Megalife Fernandez 22, asked me if I posted my holiday gift wish list guide and I did not. There's such a plethora of holiday gift guides out there. I just feel like do you guys really need another one? If you want one, I will make it for you. I can let you guys know what I asked for for my holiday list from like my parents and friends and family and I in and just what I am giving people that I love. Sydney Sweden asked, how did you get so confident? Gosh, it has been a very long journey. In fact, I am making a video about it right now and it should be ready next week or the week after and I'll share it with you guys as soon as it's done. Long story short, it's been a journey. I have spent most of my life not being confident at all and feeling really bad about about myself and the skin I'm in to the point where I wouldn't go do things with people. I would stay home instead of going to parties. I would let it affect my personal relationships and I let it affect what I thought I could do with my life and how successful I thought I could be. And I definitely let it affect what I wore and how I put myself out there. It's been about two years since I completely changed my mindset around that and it has completely changed my life. I used to wear sweatpants and t-shirts. I was not fashionable. You guys could look back on my feed. I would wear like some oversized like caftans or like 
um, jackets and stuff. But if you look back towards the beginning, it would be like an emo selfie or like flat lays or travel. Very rarely did I post photos of myself that weren't like me hiding or just very weird photos. Um, it was not very common that I did that. So in the past two years, I just decided that I was going to radically love myself where I was. And I wasn't going to buy into the lie that if I lost weight, everything was going to be okay. And that if everything changed, if I changed my whole body and my life, then I could be happy. I decided I was going to be happy right now. So I think it's just baby steps. I started doing that. I started unfollowing people that made me feel bad about myself and following people that I saw myself in that made me feel better about myself. And then I started associating with people that were positive and wearing brands that made me feel good about myself and dressing up every day and forcing myself to look in the mirror and find things I liked about myself. Stop the negative talk in my head and all of that added up to me feeling really confident and now i realize that i may not look like someone else i still get down all the time because that's normal i, I don't love every part of my body because that's not realistic but i do appreciate what my body has done for me i do realize that i am beautiful and i have unique beauty to me that no one else has and that that's my superpower that and my personality and so i think one step at a time you gain confidence you start feeling better and better and better and the other thing that really blew my mind Sorry, I just wanna get more comfortable because we're having such an intimate chat. And the other thing that blew my mind is I realized that nobody worries about me as much as I worry about me. Like no one's sitting there tearing me apart or overthinking things as much as I am. I'm much meaner to myself in my head than other people are to me. Life is short and I just wanted to have fun. And just because a photo was posted that I thought didn't look good of me didn't mean that that's how people saw me or that that's actually what it looked like. Everybody has bad angles. Like, do I look like this? all the time no but when you're you know at that angle you do no everybody has good angles and bad angles um so what i learned is that a photo cannot destroy me a photo cannot tell me the truth somebody else's false opinion of me i'm not going to allow that to be my truth either so that was really helpful for me i think getting out there and taking photos and like seeing that you can look great you can look beautiful you can be comfortable with your body and like getting that body dysmorphia a little bit in check is a major thing that helped me a lot. So I hope that that helps with your confidence too. Happy to make a whole video about like my confidence tips if that would be good for you, but I do have one coming about my body positive journey and how I learned to come to peace and come to terms with my body and my size and let that stop stealing my joy and happiness from me. So thanks for that question, Sydney Sweden. I'm happy to answer. Please comment below with any further questions you want or any other videos you wanna see. I would not consider today to be a success because I didn't get enough done that I needed to get done. But will I ever get done everything on my list? Probably not. By the way, I get to wear this Eloquy coat out for the first time because it's finally cold enough. Ian, does this coat look cute with this? Come tell the camera what you just said to me. Do you see what I deal with on an everyday basis? I look like what? Monster. Like Cookie Monster. Like Cookie Monster? <laughs> He's mean. So cute. Oh, it's soft. <sighs> now he's trying to backtrack. Look! Yay, three days in a row. Three days in a row. <laughs> Ian told me that I look like Cookie Monster in this coat. No, it's so cute. I you don't it. think I do? No, I love it. And the sleeves, you guys. You look so cozy sleeves. too. I'm just cozy. So guess what? I'm gonna go see at the Grove. I told you already, right? Am I at the Nike store? Oh yes, <laughs> yes. So we have to go check you out. We just found out that my printed pictures from the photo shoot I did with Nike are in the Nike store at the Grove, which I think is the best Nike store. So we're gonna go see them because this is the holidays at its finest. Look at this gigantic tree. It's so pretty. <sighs> we just ran up three flights of stairs. This is true friendship. Look, you guys. That one is me. And then there's me. And then there's Damien. That was very fun. Now I'm actually going to bed because I'm actually shooting tomorrow. It's a winter wonderland. I want to be in my vlog. Look how pretty she is. She's so pretty. <laughs> oh, stop. Lights, camera. Yeah. Oh. The Grove. <laughs> I think I made for this. I think you are.